Welcome to the Bentex 7X header design tutorial. Start by opening the Bentex software to the task menu screen as seen here. Select the header icon from the list and maximize the screen. To start, go to the points tab. From there, enter a 5 into the front field and click the apply button. Then, go to the angle sub tab and select the lower right green circle on the triglobe. Type 15 into the angle field, 4.5 into the length field, and simply select the apply button. Then select the frontmost pick point and apply an additional point. Now switch back to the single sub tab, clear the values from before, type 16 into the floor field, 4 into the back field, and 6.25 into the right field. Then select the TriStar as a reference and apply the new point. Now clear the values again, type a 5 into the left field, select the bottom point as the new reference, and click Apply to place the point. Clear the values once more, type 5 into the front field, and select Apply. Then click the point to the far left and apply the last point. Now switch over to the main tab and select a material and die from the drop down menus to the left. Start drawing the parts by selecting the bent button above and connecting the points as seen here. Then click the OK button. Select the bent button once more and draw out the second header and select OK to finish. As you can see, our headers may be a little too close together to be finished quite yet. We can get an even better picture of this by selecting the display button from above and seeing the tubes with their 2 inch material applied. To add a new bend to a tube, select the add bend button from the left. Then click the center straight of both tubes. Now we can manipulate these bends with our nudge bend feature, so select the edit tab, then the nudge button and select the leftmost bend we've just created. Then, use the green and pink buttons to manipulate the bend in the direction you'd like it to be moved. When you're satisfied with the location of the bend, select the bend on the second tube. Then you'll be able to manipulate this bend to the position you'd like as well. Click on the main tab to deactivate the nudge tool and check the display again. As you can see, the parts are still just a bit too close for comfort. So we'll go back to the edit tab and nudge the left part a little further. Checking the display again, we can see that there is no collision between the two parts. In order to view a part in broken up straights and bends, click on the part from the list above and select the Explode tab. The lengths, angles, and rotations will appear to the left and will be labeled on each straight and bend listed for the part. To view the part from multiple angles and positions at once, select the multi-view checkbox above. Opt out of the explode tab and the multi view
and select the J-Bend button from above. Here you can see the part mapped out on your specific J or U-Bend length of tubing. These can be added in the Tools tab above or in this window by clicking on the J-Bend Library button at the bottom. The manufacturer list on the left will contain the number of J-Bends you will need for production and each will produce a picture to the right with visual locations of the necessary cuts. Below you can see the remaining components that will not be available to create from your J-shaped tubing. When selecting a J-Bend from the manufacturer list, you will be able to view the sections that will be produced along with corresponding information. These will be color coded so that the lettering matches the image. Click on the collision button to make sure that your parts do not intersect or collide with each other. If there's a risk of collision, the tubes will contain red collision indicators. Next, go to the Steps tab to insert sections of tubing of a different diameter. Click on the Material drop-down menu and select a different size tubing from the list. Then, click the From Section button and click on both header port locations to create the steps. This will change all lengths of tubing besides the length you've clicked on. Clicking on the Display button will show the performed step on both parts. Now select the Points tab once again and type 12 into the left field. Apply this point from both header sides. Now go to the Edit tab and select the Mirror sub-tab. From here click on the Y left right mirror axis and the Select Part button. Then select the first part in the display, check the Keep Original Part checkbox, and apply. Click on the second part and select the apply button. Now switch to the copy tab and click the select part button. Then click on the first part, select the top pick point as an anchor and move it to the point 12 inches to the left. Follow the same method to copy the second part as well. Then go back to the main tab and delete the excess tubes as seen here. You can see the tubes in 3D mode again by selecting the display button above. Thank you for participating in our header design tutorial. For more helpful and informational videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel here and like us on Facebook.